going to talk about the game of Go. The game of board is a board that is like this. They are not Chinese checkers. So, my first question is, do you know what the game of Go is? Probably not. So, I will explain what it is. It is a 420 year old game made by one of the three emperors. Well, the first emperor is Emperor Shen. He made it for his weak minded son, Chang Jun. And the second theory was Emperor Shen's predecessor, Emperor Yao. And the third theory is one of the Dazhou of Wu um, and, the, and Emperor Tie. The third theory was the most accurate and the most um, believable because of the time differences. Okay, and this game sounds kind of challenging and um, complicated, but it's not easy. It only has two rules to it. The first rule is um, to take turns placing the black and white pieces. And the second rule is to um, take out a piece when there is no liberty, which I will explain later. Okay, so you can capture it by um, having four pieces around a another color's piece. And so the white pieces will be taken off from the board immediately. And this, the white board can survive because he has a liberty, which is a um, blank space right above it. And right here, there's share liberty. Share liberty is when there's two colors of the same color, and it can stay on it because even though this one is trapped, it has a shirt and there's this one space over here. And for this one, the three space, the three pieces will all be taken off together because there's no space next to them. <coughs> okay, now here is the scoring area. There's two um, ways of scoring. One way is um, area, and the area is the empty points, only your stone surround, plus surround minus empty point plus the number of your stone on the board. So this is a way, so for the black ones, they will have 13, because there's an area here, that's blank pieces, so it's his area, so there would be 13, and then for the white pieces, there would be 12. So the black pieces, so the person who plays the black pieces will win, would win, because he have more area. The other um, kind of, Scoring is territory. Territory is number of empty points. Only your stone surrounds minus empty points surround. Oh territory is number of <laughs> empty points. Only your stone surrounds minus empty points surrounding Kinseki minus the number of your stones that have been killed. Some, however, some of their seki, which are mentioned before, seki are mutual life where different color groups are adjacent and share liberty. The situation may be a position when neither player wants to go first because doing so would allow the opponent to capture the stones. In such situation, both players don't remain on the board in mutual life. Neither player receives any points for those groups, but at least those groups will remain living as to being captured by the other person. Okay, so as I grew up playing this game, I, oh, I did not like this game that much. <laughs> However, it was a family tradition to play it. Since my grandparents played it, and they taught it to my parents and my brother, and my brother eventually taught it to me. But um, since I was a kid, I was always saying, I am bored. I can say it all day for 10 minutes. And one day, my brother got really annoyed and started saying, you need to shut up and find something to do. <laughs> so when I still couldn't find anything, he started to um, decide to explain more of this game and and um, practice with me. Okay, and um, at first I didn't know how to play the game at all, since I was only started to be playing then. But he started teaching me as I put down the sum. So after a couple more rounds, I start to enjoy the game and become addicted to it. Uh, after that day, I would always practice a lot by myself sometimes with my brother when he have time. Um, but however, as time goes on, he doesn't have any more time, and he would 
always because um, a few anxious test to high school, so I can't play with them anymore. So my mom decided me decided to take me to a class where I can compete with other kids around my age. When I first went into the class, I thought I was good, but was I wrong? I was the worst one there. Um, but after just a few months, I got a lot better than my brother and some other kids. So my mom takes me to a real competition where there are rankings. Another tier is passed and I belong to level 12, which is like right here. And like the professional rank is 9 then, which is like for world, um, like number one world professional players. But I have so, so much fun that I thought I could have. Just, and then just when I thought I could have become better than what I was, I had to move over here. At first, I thought it would be cool to play against other people from the U.S. But as I found out that there isn't much, much people that knows this game here. So I conducted a research, and then it's about 1 out of 50 people who knows this game for students, and about 3 out of 50 people who knows this for adults. And then, and so I eventually started to give up because I had no one to play with and all I could do was practice alone. Then just last month, I saw this circle. He's a professional player, the number one player in the world, got beaten by a computer. That was made by Google DeepMind. It's called AlphaGo. This video of him competing brought back many memories and made me want to play the game again. So right now, I decided to continue practice the game so one day I could play with someone again. So here I'm trying to tell you guys not to give up on something because there is a um, complication in the middle like me where I had no one. Because this game gave me really good um, achievement and like it brought me up um, and it's the thing that I do best. So I wish you could all um, continue to do the things you are good at. Thank you.